What's up, HRV? I'm Evelyn Sasaga. And I'm Andy Chavaria. Welcome to What's Up, our weekly show about what's going on at the high school. Andy, I have some sad news. It's our last What's Up for our seniors. It is? So what's the sad news? <laughs> Just kidding. That is sad. Because it's the last show for our seniors, we are sharing anchor duties today. You'll see a lot of the journalism seniors throughout the show. Last month, students from the MIGRA Education Program went to Washington, D.C. to see how our government works. We talked to a bunch of them to find out about the trip. My name is Ana Lopez and I'm a senior here at the high school. My name is Estefania and I'm a senior here at the high school. Uh, my name is Charlene Hernandez and I'm a senior at the high school. I'm um, Sonia Toche and I'm a senior at Jorge Valley High School. My name is Isiel Pacheco and I'm a senior. My name is Randy Galindo and I'm a sophomore. My name is Yeri Lechino. I'm a senior at the high school and I just came back from the District of Columbia. Estaba en DC porque quise tener una nueva aventura y conocer nuevos lugares. Uh, I went to Washington DC because we learned how to get more politically involved in our government. We wanted to know more about our country's political system and how it works, how a bill becomes law. Yo aprendí cómo debatir sobre mi opinión con otra gente con diferentes perspectivas y llegar a un acuerdo en nuestras formas y opiniones políticas. There was a particular student who affected my perspective. He was from a territory called Saipan, and he told us about how they were taking away his land just to build nuclear weapons. Um, la manera que a mí me afectó conociendo más gente fue conociendo cómo, la gente, cómo otra gente piensa, unos piensan lo mismo y otros piensan otras cosas diferentes. My favorite part from the whole trip would probably be visiting the Lincoln Memorial, meeting new people, and also going to the Pentagon City Mall. Hablar con los senadores y los representantes, ya que contestaron a mis dudas que tenía aquí sobre Hood River, ya que un bill que se pasó de donde pagan a los farm workers overtime, a cómo va a afectar realmente la agricultura aquí en Hood River. Ah, mi parte favorita fue cuando fuimos a la capital en grupo, porque durante los otros días estuvimos como separados con otros compañeros de otros estados y eso fue algo raro pero el miércoles que estuvimos todos juntos fue algo muy especial para mí y yo creo que para todos. Hola a todos, hi everybody, my name is America Flores Peralta. I'm the graduation coach for the Migrant Education Program. Um, I just wanted to give a quick message to my students who went with me to Washington DC. Thank you for making this experience in Washington DC. One of my favorite memories of all time. You all make me feel so loved and so happy. I love you all. Mama America, signing off. Before Deputy Economy left HRV, Haley interviewed him on a variety of topics. This week, he tells us how to de-escalate a tense situation. So the question is about like de-escalation. And I think it really depends on what role you're playing. As a, as a peace officer, right, like public safety, law enforcement professional, you know, if I see a dangerous situation, like people getting into an argument, like I do want to get in there and de-escalate. And part of that's going to be separating the parties. Okay, so get them away from each other. Maybe they can't see each other. Maybe they can't hear each other. And then establishing some sort of rapport. That way we can bring the conversation down, right? Like they're very emotional right now. And I, I just want to bring them down to another area. So I might, I might do some rapport building, ask them where they're from, what's going on, talk to them away from the other party, okay? And, you know, figure out what's going on from there. Obviously more helpful if I'm a, if I'm a police officer and I have a, a second car with me to help me keep those parties separated, but I just want to calm things down, you know, slow it down and then we can figure it out from there. If you are driving up on a situation like that or you encounter, you know, two people going at it, the first thing you need to keep in mind is stay safe. All right. So having you intervene, if it's dangerous, uh, is not a good idea because I don't want more people to get hurt, right? So the best thing you can do is be a good reporter, right? Like call it in and say like, hey, this is what I'm observing. I need help or I think, I think these people need help. And that's probably the best thing you can do. Hey, Jaime, what's your dream car? A 2018 Toyota Camry, of course. No way, that's what I drive. The question of the week crew asked people to identify their dream car. My favorite or uh, my dream truck is a truck. <laughs> My dream car is a 2022 McLaren 720S. Did I say dream? I'm going to say a Tesla because it would be really nice for the commute from the Dallas. A 2001 Subaru Forester. 
A Lamborghini Murcielago. A Supra. A Subaru RX K car from Japan. 660cc engine. Uh, my dream car would be a Lotus. Um, my dream car would probably be um, a Sylvia S14 or 15. It doesn't matter. Or an FC RX7. Uh, my dream car probably a uh, Mustang 77. Oh, a Mercedes or a BMW? My bicycle. Like an old muscle car, probably. A submarine. That's our show for the week. Thanks for watching. We'll leave you with the winning entries in the HIV's Got Talent contest. If you're not a senior, don't worry. This isn't the last show of the year. The other kids will put out two more episodes because they don't get out of school until June 22nd. I feel really bad for them. Stay safe. Come back next week and they'll tell you... What's, what's up? up?